The tar barrel burning of Ottery St Mary is certainly one of the most spectacular folk traditions of the British Isles. No one's exactly sure where it comes from, but it seems to be related to the gunpowder plot of Guy Fawkes, which is celebrated on 5th of November around the country with bonfires. There are, however, some locals who claim that tar barrel burning is a much older tradition, even dating back to pagan times, but this is impossible to prove. Uh, about 14 years. How old were you when you started? Seven. Seven years old? Yeah. And why did you carry the barrels? Just a tradition that our family's in and everybody's family's in and just want to keep it going, really. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Best time of year. Did your dad do it as well? Yeah, and his dad and so on. How long have your family lived in Ottery? <sighs> Longer than I could think of. <laughs> yeah, a long, long time. You get an, an adrenaline rush when you yeah, carry Yeah, massive, yeah. What is it, can you describe the feeling of carrying the barrel through the crowd? I don't know how to describe it, it's unreal really. <laughs> it's just, it's nervous until you have it for that first time and then it's just, the adrenaline just takes you through really. But yeah, uh, are you going to help to continue this tradition in the future? Yeah. Make sure it carries on? Definitely, yeah. If you have children? Yeah, definitely. Is there anyone who's against this? Um, I suppose there is, but... They know they're not welcome here, so... <laughs> <laughs> Pieces. Yeah, it's broken out. Oh, fuck. Another right. What happens when that happens? It is, they just leave it as not, and you have another one. Nah, it's not going to be as When I was seven, I'm 27 now, so. Wow, 20 well, at the end of the month. Ah, nice. So, and you've yeah. done it every single year? Yeah, never missed a year. And uh, how does it feel when you carry the barrel? Oh, it's brilliant. Amazing. The worst bit's when me kid does it. She's 10, it's her third year this year. But that's more nerve wracking. But once she's got over and done with it, it's just playing, really. Do you know how many generations your family's been carrying the barrels? Um, quite a few. I mm. couldn't tell you precisely. But your granddad, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Both granddads? And my uncle. My uncle does it. Oh, wow. And then that. But no, my other granddad doesn't do it. It's not from Watcher. And uh, you're, you're doing a bit, you can, to continue the tradition, you're getting your children to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm uh, looking forward to it. One of them's one and a half, and I can't wait for her to do it as well. Oh, so not, not too many years. <laughs> <laughs> Even you started them early. What, how old can they begin? Seven. Seven years old. Yeah. Right. Uh, and uh, w tonight, how do, you, how do you compare to previous years? Good. Good. Straight about the scaffolding in the square. Mm -hmm. Bit, bit more shambles because obviously health and safety and everything. So it's a bit up and down. But I had a few runs. That's the main, main thing really. Is health and safety uh, becoming an obstruction to um, the tradition? In a way, but it will still be the same. It's just makes it awkward to raise more money every year, but they ain't gonna stop. We love it. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God.
is nobody got this help. <laughs> Yeah, why is that?